Roxy, you and I pass carriage horses on our walk every single day. Tonight, critics say it's time for those horse-drawn carriages to ride into the sunset and into the history books. A national movement growing to end what critics call cruel and unnecessary use of carriage horses in traffic-clogged big cities. A lawmaker in Chicago is now fighting to ban these carriages in his city. He joins newly elected New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, who also wants to see horses off the streets, even speaking out on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. The bottom line is this. In a humane society, I really believe this, horses do not belong in the middle of the traffic of New York City. Mm -hmm. They don't belong in an urban environment like this. It's not safe for them. It's just not, not, it's not fair when you think about what their lives should be and what our society is like. It is a little... And that's the mayor. In critical documentaries like the movie Blinders, critics say this antiquated practice sticks horses in terrifying, fast, loud traffic, creating dangers if they're spooked. Exhibit A, take a look at the pictures. Critics say it tells the story. Look at these accidents. All right, look at that. That is wild stuff. Huh. Straight out to Donnie Moss, my dear friend and leader of the fight to ban horse-drawn carriages and director of the documentary, Blinders. Donnie, why do you think it's so important to ban these carriages? Like Mayor de Blasio, we think it's inherently inhumane to have horses pulling carriages in congested urban areas. These are living, breathing animals, but by putting them in the streets with aggressive taxi drivers and buses and ambulances, we're treating them like inanimate objects, like motor vehicles. It's unfair to them, it's unsafe for them, and it puts the public safety in jeopardy. Remember, these are flight animals. And when a horse spooks and bolts down a busy city street with a carriage attached to his or her back, uh, they become weapons. And there's no amount of regulation that could prevent a horse from spooking. Now, Mayor de Blasio said the end of horse-drawn carriages is, quote, non-negotiable. In a written statement, he told us he wants to work with drivers and people in the industry to make them part of the solution. However, the organization that works with the horses, uh, the Historical Horse-Drawn Carriages of New York, says they adamantly oppose the mayor's pledge to end the business, adding there are 144 pages of regulations in place and that no owner or driver has ever been convicted of animal cruelty or abuse. What's your response to uh, them saying, Donnie, this really needs to be a part of New York forever. Look, uh, tradition is never an excuse for the inhumane treatment of animals. When you think about what these animals' lives are like, they spend nine hours a day stuck between the shafts of a carriage, and they spend the rest of the day inside a stall. New York City has no pasture. They have no place to graze, run, roll, or interact physically with other horses, as herd animals do. Really, they've been stripped of the ability to do anything that comes naturally to them. If Barcelona, Spain can ban uh, bullfights, which really were part of tradition there, then we can certainly take these horses off the streets and out of harm's way. Well, now, the coalition to ban horse-drawn carriages wants signatures on their Change.org petition that asked Mayor de Blasio and the New York City Council to ban horse-drawn carriages by the end of the year. So to sign the petition or learn how you can get involved, you can go to banhdc.org, banhdc, which stands for horse-drawn carriages. You know, I got to say that there are plenty of alternatives that are being proposed. Uh, Donnie, for example, uh, there are some alternatives like electric cars that are being suggested. And we've got some uh, video of various uh, proposals that people are suggesting. Now, there are already uh, young people. There are the electric cars being proposed. There are young people who, who ride around. Oh, look at that. Now, that looks like fun, but that looks kind of expensive. The fact is that there are already uh, carriages, bike carriages, that young people bike around the city. They pick up money. They get exercise. The people get to see whatever the sights are. What's wrong with just having some more of that? Look, any, any alternative to using animals in the city streets would be uh, welcome, but we shouldn't have to have an alternative to uh, shut this business down. They've had years and years of advance warning that a ban is coming, and they are clinging to uh, the horse-drawn carriages. So well, the goal now is to do what de Blasio said, which is to take these horses off the streets. Well, full disclosure, I'm not happy about these horse-drawn carriages, and when Foxy and I walk by them, they don't look too happy to me. <laughs> I mean, really? With the cabs racing past them? <sighs> we'll see what happens. Mayor de Blasio, we're watching you.